Hey guys, um, we are back with episode 2 of our redstone tutorials. Um, last episode we just got through the basics over here, and this episode we're going to do a bit more advanced um, redstone. Those over there will be for other episodes, but this one's where I have best focus on four main gates. We have the OR gate, up there is an OR gate. Whenever there's something above that, it's basically the inverted version, but it's called something else, so I'll just put it there instead. Here's the XOR gate. There's an X NOR gate, but it's just massive and almost not needed. Like, all, you really, all it really is is at the end of this, this goes into um, like a wire that goes into a block that inverts it at the end, and if you saw the last video, an inverter is just this basically transfers the uh inverts the power to the opposite power source of what it is um so first off we have an or gate which is uh, pretty simple and you just got two power sources going into one block that this that th this dot once they ch they change the redstone so that way it's dots instead of before it used to just be like a cross but um it'll still be powered even though it doesn't look like it'll be take power see um but yeah this or gate basically um only one source will activate it at a time so if i have them both up like one will be on this one will do nothing so like pretty much that's pretty much what it is i mean it's pretty simple um so like that one's stuck on but this block this block is still constantly being powered so this one no matter what it'll stay constantly powered um on this one up here, basically inverter, it's just it goes into a block which has a redstone torch at the end, which it'll turn it on and off and I got stuck in a door. Um this one is more used for things where like say they have to go um if they have to like, you know, if you have a map and there's two switches on each side of the wall and like you have to find like the entrance to the two rooms. Um yeah, pretty much like you have to have one switch like you have to have them both on or both up off whatever like you have them default on and like the map they have to flip one and they have to go find the other switch you know and then they have like a secret door open or something you know so that's pretty much inverted version here we have an XOR gate uh, basically both switches will activate the same door so no matter what like if this one's on like and then they, they'll both activate it. So this one, when a torch is off, there's basically usually a, well, it's always a power source going into the block, which is um, powering the torch off, if you get that. But um, so technically right now this, this uh, lever is off and this one's off. So as they're both off, this one can power both of them. This one can power both of them. Um or can power the door and then if that one's left on which means the power source is off this one will still work pretty simple um, the AND gate uh, what is this gate that's um they pretty much they both have to be they both have the both switches have to be on by default it's kind of like a um, OR gate just uh, more complicated I'd say that's pretty much what it is um, over here we have a pretty much it's like one of the main things if you're looking forward to creating like a huge redstone thing or like say you want to make a redstone like piston TV this is like one of the most like things that you'll this is one of the biggest things you'll need to know is a memory latch so basically if I click this switch it has gone through that one tick that the button makes turn this redstone torch off um, which makes this power line go off and which makes this torch go on and it's basically stuck like that until you go over here and you have to go like you press this one um, usually how they use this is like say if you have a power source going through like this thing and something and they like then a the power source comes through again it won't affect it and like say the same thing with the switch but except for a switch is a little bit oh gosh rain hold on Sorry, that rain. I hate the noise. Like it's really loud. But 
So like with the switch, it, it'll be glitchy if you both if you have them both on. Then you know the torches are off, but the power sources are on because the power went backwards in each each one of these. It's um pretty much all that like changed, but still like. See, so, yeah, it just gets stuck on. Um. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode, episode two of uh Redstone. So uh. Hope oh. oh like, did I show you this? It's pretty much the same thing that's below it. It's just in. Well, this one's not inverted this time. This one is inverted. Uh, this should be a NAND gate, I think. N A N D. And the other one should be AND. It's like one of those, but. And these AND and NAND, whatever, are, I'd say, pretty much exactly the same as this. Because, look. Like, you know, only one switch can power it at a time if, if the other one's off. So, like. Say if they're both on right now, nothing will happen. Like that one's on, even though it's way on. I guess it will still work. It's just not inverted. It's a little bit confusing though. Yeah, see, like right now, this won't do anything. And once they're both like that, or once they're both in the same state, you know, it'll do something. But like you know, well, if it's not in the same state, it'll go back to the first thing. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We got the uh, first seven basics done. This I'd say like intermediate, or not really intermediate. This is just the next step. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys in episode three. Later.